Hello everyone, good morning. Today we're gonna take a part of this HP laptop. The reason we are opening it to get access into the hard drive, pull it out and work on data recovery. The problem is we tried every single possible way it didn't work and we was failure to back up the data. So now we're gonna take out the drive and individually we'll try, okay. So today we're going to show you how to disassemble this HP laptop. First of all, almost some of the HP are same procedure to do it. By the way, this is the HP 255G3. That's the model, as you can see here. Yeah, 255G3. So we're going to take it out. First is first, we need Philips screwdriver. Make sure your machine is completely off. Now, as you can see here, it shows this one goes to the keyboard. So we're going to take out this screw first. Okay. And this is for the DVD drive. Okay. Put it out. Fine. And then under the DVD drive, as you can see here, there are two screws. Don't forget to check, check all the time. Okay, even Acer, Samsung, they do same procedure. So if you pull it without opening the screws, you're going to damage your front bezel. Okay. And HP does another thing, which is very awkward, to be honest. They put screw under the pad. Okay, so we're going to check in here if there is any screw. Okay. So first, take it out. Come on. This is the stupid idea. I don't know why they do that, you know, because if you try a couple of times, obviously, as you can see here, obviously the seal will come off completely, as you can see. Okay, so now you tell me how many times you can reseal it. Okay, but anyway, we have to open, open it. Fine. And keep it protected. Put it in a clean surface Fine. and then the same thing we have to do in here by the time i'll try to take out the battery one little thing when you disassemble any laptop make sure you take out the screw as much as possible because you never know which screw linked to wire and if you pull it without opening the screw obviously you're gonna damage any component or part there is a risk of damage my god okay good this is a little bit longer so don't be confused if you get confused you can put it in here leave it like that this one came out easily but this one it doesn't fine okay so i'm gonna leave it here Okay, so this part done. Now, this one gives me a little bit of doubt. Might be in here as well. You never know. Sure. No, there is nothing. I don't see any. So that's been there is also nothing. Let's check that. Okay, good. Okay, so now rest of them good And now, we're going to open it. We'll try to take care of the keyboard. It's very simple. Okay. 
keyboard replaced. We will keep this separate one. Okay, so there are some holes, as you can see, there is no indication of the error. Okay, so if you see there is no indication like M2.5, you know, and into 5. Okay, if you see these sort of things, that's in the screw hole. These are the screw hole, and they direct you to put the screws in here. Okay. Brilliant. That's fine. Now, this is the time to take the front bezel up. How are you going to do that? Put it in the gap. Okay. Best way to use the plastic plastic tools. This sort of things is much better. As you can see easily this one came off without breaking any uh, plastic bits okay so this is the hard drive this one secure with two screws one and one two that's fine Now, <laughs> our focus to recover the data, okay, and all other possible way that we tried, it didn't work, okay. So, there is a very easy and silly technique I'm going to show you how to do that. By the way, that's how you open up your HP. I'm going to put it in the side. And all the information that customer has, customer claim that is in the user, okay. So now, because of the drive is working, one more thing. Customer forgot the administrative password for Windows 10. And when you try to reset the password, uh, the HP recovery option didn't allow us to do that. Okay, even the HP data uh, backup uh, default program also didn't work properly. So I thought I'm going to get into directly and take, pull out the information and keep it in the master desktop so let's show you how to do that okay. so to connect this hard drive I need a adapter okay which is SATA adapter to standard USB so I need to find one so we got the actual drive and the adapter we're gonna connect in here Windows is very weak in security even there is administrative password but we can get into the user's folder and pull out the data that's what I believe so I'm going to connect to my default desktop machine which one I'm going to use to recover the data okay let's see yeah So this is these two Windows F as you can see the red color and the recovery these two drives right from here get into Windows and we're gonna go to these two folders she mentioned.
okay I'm not going to show you the data anyway so let's go to user account and this is the administrative which is the Hussein asking for permission just accept the permission it takes a couple of seconds or minutes it depends on how big information is there and how long it takes to complete to read the actual folder and then the folder will open up and you can pull out the data I'm going to show you within a second in that point there are two things which is the upside is even if your machine is broken if you have really important data you can back it up the down point is if you lost your laptop or if something goes wrong or if somebody try to snake your data it's super easy you know imagine you pull out the hard drive connect into the different um, laptop or windows based desktop and whatever information you need you can pull it out okay this is the kind of dangerous things you know that's what i don't like it okay because when the account is secure anything if you want to get in they supposed to ask or they should encrypt the complete drive but it doesn't happen in that way you know okay so in one point is very easy another point is risky as well okay so still it's taking time as you can see here This is the actual folder number one on the top that's what we're gonna get into it and then we can make the external copy here I mean copy in the desktop like this and we're gonna say I'm gonna say backup yeah that's the one as you can see here nothing so we can pull out the information All right, so as you can see, the folder already open. We're not gonna show you the content because of the privacy policy. And we're gonna go to the document and see, yes. So let's see what happened. I'm gonna control A, all the document from the document folder and create a new folder, which is called doc, D O C. Enter. And I'm going to paste in here. As you can see, it's going. Uh, this is all about customer stuff. I don't want to see what is in there. Then there is some download information. Also, I'm going to go back to the actual main desktop of the computer, make another folder which is called download. E O W M L yes okay so I'm gonna make control a okay and then drag and pull here okay, fine. as the customer claim there is no photos and stuff like that so okay empty I can see there is nothing on the photos or pictures on the videos also nothing so I'm not worried about it I'm gonna to go to desktop and find out okay as I can see there are many files okay there are many files so I want to make another subfolder into the backup folder which is called desktop all right double click it to open it I'm gonna select all of them. Either you can choose by Control A. I'm gonna drag and drop. As you can see here, oh my God, it's huge. It's too big. 
one second i don't know do i have any space or not first let me check here no i don't have that much space so i need the external drive anyway So I'm going to check the space first. My God, it's 365 gigabyte, which is uh, a lot to be honest. And it's going to be take, I believe, definitely a couple of hours. But, so in that point, I need to connect another one external drive and copy everything there. because of this one more than 300 gigabyte we need the external drive which is this Seagate we got one terabyte so what are you gonna do we're gonna we're gonna put everything here okay so now we're gonna make a folder which is called desktop okay. T-O-P enter and this is the desktop folder control A and we're gonna take everything there and that's all you know so it's going to be take a while as you can see without any error without any error all of them copied okay rest of the folders we already done it example we done the documents downloads and other contents that we had okay that's how simple it is okay if you ever have any difficulties with the uh, data backup option which is default by the manufacturer okay HP uh, data backup option didn't work data recovery system recovery nothing did work also the customer forgot the administrative password so in that situation what I did just follow this procedure if you have important data you can back it up easily okay and before you copy make sure you select all of them and check the space if you don't have space you definitely need to connect uh, one of the external drive otherwise you're gonna stuck middle of the way and if you do know better procedure how to back up your data in that sort of situation when other process doesn't work please don't forget to leave a comment below and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye for now